Eric and John, thanks for the donation. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> that was like well, painful. Cherie, that was the River Bottom Nightmare Band, and that was. I can uh, see why the nightmare parts in there. And it honors Christmas. Good lord! I gotta watch that video later because now I'm curious. I'm not. Who said? <laughs> You know, we talk about Jingle Jet and our families, and we've talked about how so many families from Jingle Jet's past that have come back to help and do whatever they can to give back. Yeah. And we've seen this year after year with one of our families uh, from Jingle Jet 2016, the Denizak family. And you remember Joe? Yeah, of course. A.K.A. DJ Drift. Yeah. Absolutely adore. Uh, and when his family was part of Jingle Jet 2016, his wife um, was fighting for her life and was yeah. not able to be there. But... Joe was with the kids and they had such an incredible day and he's kept in touch with us and it was a year ago, just two days ago, that Joe lost Lisa and she passed away and he just made a donation and asked us if we would play this song from DJ Drift to his wife. Oh, Joe. Joe. We're thinking about you yeah. guys absolutely all the time. Here you go, bud. <laughs>
one right there from DJ Drift. Thank you for that. And again, thinking of you and your family. <sighs> Incredible day with those uh, folks just a couple of years ago. That's why we do Jingle Jet right there, to give families a day to escape, to not have to worry about anything, even if it's just for one day. And it really is uh, its one of those things that we cannot pull off unless we have the money to do it. And you can make a tax-deductible donation to help families like we've introduced you to this these last two weeks. Right. Families like Joe's and others of Jingle Jet's past who have just, you know, so many. That, that's, for me, that's one of the most important things about how we approach Jingle Jet because it's families that have been met with undue hardship. And we see so many different stories. A mom diagnosed with stage four colon cancer this mm-hmm. year. A five-year-old little angel diagnosed with ALL leukemia just weeks ago. Another single mom who has three daughters after losing one of her daughters at the age of eight gets diagnosed with cancer not once, but now again a second time just weeks ago. And she found out her youngest or her oldest, no, her youngest daughter now who has Down syndrome also has the genetic mutation that she has, putting her at a very high risk for cancer at a very young age. Right, right. So that's why we're doing this right now. Here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that we are way short of where we were this time, summer. So summer, we set out. 